All right, guys, at Expo right now at the Bell Helicopter booth, and I thought this would be an excellent time to do a little walk around of one of my favorite helicopters, the Bell 407. Let's go. So as you guys know, I've actually kind of nerded out this whole Expo about the high visibility door package. You're probably sick of me. I promise I'm not commission based to sell these. I have no affiliation, but one of my favorite upgrades that you can do with the Bell 407 is the high visibility doors. Not just up front, but also for the passengers. It gives a great passenger experience, and it's also great uh, adding visibility as the pilot. Let's take a look inside. So obviously we know the 407 comes in multiple variants. You just have your standard 407, you have your GX, GXP, and now the latest and greatest, of course, is the GXI. So the GX and the GXI all have the Garmin G1000 suite. System is incredible. Talk about allowing a pilot to decrease their workload. Couple that with the autopilot. You can get the two axis autopilot in the Bell 407 makes flying this helicopter an absolute dream. Let's take a look in the back and see what the passenger experience is like. I can't help but love what the 407 brings to the table. It's a four place in the back, two rear, two forward facing. Excellent passenger experience. The four-bladed rotor system makes this helicopter extremely stable. So whether you're flying in turbulent air, not only are you getting from A to B super quick, but you're also enjoying the ride in VIP, pure luxury comfort. Let's take a look at the rest of the aircraft. So you can buy a $40,000 Kia, or you can buy a $4 million helicopter. What do they have in common? Well, they each have a backup camera. Come check this out. So this feature is actually great when you're doing an off airport landing and it's a confined area or there's large brush or you might be on a ledge or something like that. You can actually pull the camera up on the G1000 display and see the area around you. This is actually a huge safety addition and I'm glad to see that the GX has that. Let's keep going. We know that the 407 is an absolute power machine. As far as light, uh, helicopters, turbine, this helicopter excels in all environments, all altitudes. It creates a ton of power, over 800 horsepower on takeoff. A couple other things I want to show you is the bear paw. A lot of times people are like, Halsey, what is that on the back of the helicopter skin? That's a, called a bear paw. And what that allows is the helicopter to, if you're landing in say snow, or maybe like a mud, very uh, loose surface. This actually is, acts as like a snowshoe and helps keep the helicopter on the surface. The other feature that people are always asking me about is the wire strike prevention kit. I think all of us helicopter people kind of get it, but our non-helicopter friends might not always understand. So we have a top and a bottom on this kit for the 407. And what that essentially allows is for, if you were to contact a wire, hopefully it would be directed into one of those wire strikes allowing you to fly safely away. Overall, the Bell 407, pound for pound, is one of my favorite helicopters to fly. I'm thinking if you're in the market, you should consider a Bell 407. Again, there's an analog, a GX, and a GXI. This is the GXI, latest and greatest. Also can do the IFR upgrade with the GXI. Single pilot IFR, pretty awesome.